y'all. <sighs> All right, here I am once again doing uh, Car Chronicles today. And as y'all could tell from the title, man, it's a hot mess out here. So, um, I was on Facebook scrolling, you know, whatever. Then I saw this post, and you know, I thought it was gonna, it was gonna be something motivational, or whatever. It turned out to be not motivational at all. I'm pretty sad. Um, I'm gonna put a little um, a picture of it also, so y'all can see, you know, what I'm talking about. And I was reading this post or whatever, and um, I got to reading it, and I was like, man, this this person is a hot mess. I don't know if this post is real. Or fake because it seemed fake because I don't know but anyone who made up this story or if it's even real I feel like you have to have like a sick mind to even come up with it and then you have you have to have even more of a sick mind to even do what this post said so basically the post said that this man had a girlfriend that he constantly cheated on and you know had relationships with other women and he constantly cheated on her and she did the most you know impossible thing to kind of keep him you know from cheating on her but he kept doing it you know he didn't really care um so he ha she had her son right his son and um this man decided that four hours later he didn't even wait like a week or something this nigga four hours later after he had after she had her baby he decided that he was gonna leave the room and obviously cheat on her and she knew that he was gonna cheat on her that's the sad part she knew that she he was about to go with some other female and have sex with that female so with her you know what she thought in her mind was that you know um, if I have sex with him, he's not going to leave me. And that's basically what she did. She basically told the man, you know, go lock the door, you know, lock the door and, you know, come lay in the bed with me. And I'm like, what? Like, I remember back when I had my baby and how painful, you know, um, uh, my body was at the time I felt heavy, you know, I had stitches, you know, it's, it's, it's like, no that's that's not the time to be having sex like your vagina just feels painful and then it's already bleeding and stuff like that and um he said that he had sex with her and he didn't even he wasn't even gentle that was even the worst part he said that he was rough with it and i'm like that's crazy because i'm like a woman's already bleeding and this is how i knew this story is kind of fake because um, he said right after, you know, some yucky stuff came out. But I'm like, yucky stuff was already down there. That's the crazy part. The yucky stuff was already down there. And you went in there and went, you know. So I knew that part was kind of fake because, you know, the yucky stuff was already down there. So it couldn't be possibly afterwards there was yucky stuff. Because if you have a baby, you know that there's going to be yucky stuff right after you have a baby. <laughs> So you're going to be bleeding and stuff like that. So I'm like, I don't know. This is just crazy. You know, I think back on my husband, you know, and he gave me the opportunity to rest. And even when we did have sex for the first time after we had our baby, you know, but he gave me that six week period that you're supposed to get. Um, he went gentle inside of me. And, you know, the first time it wasn't. It, it didn't feel comfortable so he went and hit ahead and pulled out you know and I feel like that's a man right there I got me a good man and I feel like these women are you know just getting with any guy that doesn't care about them and sad reality is you need to pay attention to what guy you get with because if a guy is doing this he, he doesn't respect you he really doesn't respect you and then the sad part if you keep reading it says that he did that and you know the nurse came in afterwards and was looking at him at her like what what are you doing like <laughs> and he left and you know he left and he wound up being you know he went left to go be with her best friend 
that, that's just that's even the worst part like that ain't even your best friend your best friend knows that you in the hospital with the baby that's just four hours old that's not even a best friend like real talk and then she after you know the nurse came in and she looked at the nurse and she told the, the nurse that i love him i'm like man that's that's just sad like when i read that part i was like man that's just sad like I was like, man, I need to talk about this <laughs> because I was like, how can somebody, you know, do that to somebody? Like, it's just horrible. So women, you know, respect yourselves. Keep yourselves in high standard. Don't let these little men, you know, not even men, they're inhuman because somebody that does something like that is inhuman. You ain't even have a kid mentality. That is just plain nasty. A real talk. And then the worst part about it, if you really think about it, if he has sex and he supposedly wiped himself with the wipe, and he didn't even wash himself up, he wiped himself with the wipe. Like, real talk. Like, you know wipe ain't gonna clean up all that mess. So, what he gonna do is have that afterbirth and have that afterbirth in the best friend's vagina. So, that's just nasty. That's, that just tells you enough right there that y'all don't need to be messing with these little hot messes. Because they're going to do some nasty stuff with you. And you're going to get some type of bacterial infection in your vagina. So, you know, women, hold yourselves accountable. And, you know, pick the right man. You don't want to be in these situations, you know, where you're trying to force something. And the man is kind of like, whatever. Like... It's all good. I get, you know, vagina here and I get vagina over there. This is guaranteed vagina here. And it's like, if a man doesn't, you know, want to be with you, just don't be with him. Like, you know, start, you know, thinking about the relationship that you put yourself in, you know. If a man is not respecting you, it's, you know, there's other men in this world, you know. Don't, don't, you know, think... Oh, I have to love this man because I don't want to be lonely. But, you know, you have to sit there and think, you know, I have to hold myself to a certain honor. You know, I'm I'm more. I'm more, you know, I'm something precious. And men like that, you know, you need to get rid of them. You know, after that experience, I would have been like, nope, nope. Even before that experience, I would have been like, nope. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, women out here, come on, man. We have to, you know, hold ourselves like queens and princesses and, you know, have these men respect us. And, you know, look for these respectful men because there's respectful men out here. And, you know, they'll take care of you. They really will. And I got to say, my husband is one of those respectful men. He he takes care of me no matter what. He never crosses a boundary, even if we're married. You know, we're he's my husband, but he still, you know, makes sure that I'm comfortable with whatever we're doing. You know, even though he's my husband, yes, he has right to my body, but he chooses to respect it. And, you know, if I don't feel comfortable with something, he will, you know, back off. And that's how a man is supposed to be. You know, a man is not supposed to put you in some awkward position that you feel like you need to do or you need to uh, try out and you need to force yourself to do something that you're not, you know, equipped to do, you know. Obviously, this lady wasn't equipped to ha be having sex. You know, she had a baby four hours later. And the sad part, I was looking at the comments and there was a lot of comments that were saying that this happened before. Like, they know people that, you know, had sex right after they had babies. And one of the comments said that she got pregnant. So, it's kind of like, you just had a baby, and then you're about to have another baby in nine months. Like, oh, that's just a hot mess. But, um, this is all I wanted to talk about, you know. Um, women, respect yourselves. Don't get with these, you know, ungrateful men that ain't gonna respect you. You know, there's a lot of fruits that you can see. And you know get those warning signs before it's too late you know get those warning signs start seeing those warning signs because men like this they will you know you wind up dead and they don't care they move on to the next one so that's all for today's card chronicles and don't forget to like and subscribe also hit that notification bell to keep yourselves informed of every video that i post 
So, bye.